Oh, he just hit the train. Viewers sharing the violent end to a police chase that spanned multiple counties and ended in downtown Miamisburg. Now, Miamisburg police say this whole thing started in Warren County, and that is when troopers from the Ohio State Highway Patrol tried to get the driver of a truck to pull over. But that driver didn't stop, eventually taking troopers and law enforcement from several other jurisdictions on a chase that ended when police say the driver intentionally crashed into a train near downtown Miamisburg. But the crash wasn't the end of all of this. A standoff with police then started that lasted for several hours. Jenna Lee Bork, we have team coverage of this situation, but we begin with Jenna Lee Bork, who was there as it all went down. So Jenna Lee, what happened? That's right, Adam and Elise. This incident lasted for over four hours and involved multiple jurisdictions like you just mentioned. A suspect was taken into custody, but we don't know if he was injured. We were told earlier by a Miamisburg lieutenant that no officers were injured at that time. Community members saying they were surprised by all of this. I usually feel really safe in our town and I cannot believe this is happening at all whatsoever. A shocking scene on Friday afternoon in a usually quiet city outside of Dayton. The Linden Street Bridge in downtown Miamisburg closed as multiple law enforcement agencies blanketed the area trying to get a suspect to surrender. OSHP, Montgomery County Sheriff's, Miamisburg PD, Kettering PD, and Miami Township PD were some of the agencies involved. Miamisburg Police Department Lieutenant Will Ring says it all started in Warren County when OSHP tried to pull over a man in a silver truck. It's unclear if he was being pulled over for a traffic violation or possibly a warrant, but the truck didn't pull over and a chase ensued. Other agencies uh, joined in with that pursuit and ended up in Montgomery County and ultimately here in the city of Miamisburg. During the chase, Ring confirmed the suspect hit at least one police cruiser. Ring says there was a tire off of the rim of the truck and a witness explains what he saw when the truck was on the bridge. He was in the truck. You could tell the truck was kind of like cockeyed and disheveled, like off to the side of the road a little bit. They're talking to him on bullhorns, telling him to get out of the vehicle. Ring says things ultimately halted near the railroad tracks for a different reason. The witness saying he saw the surprising moment. But when the train starts coming, he takes off, T-bones that train big time. Big bunch of smoke starts rolling up and everything, and then the officers went ahead and converged on him. Police then spent the next few hours working to get the driver to come out of the vehicle. Eventually, around 7, the driver did and was taken into custody. I wasn't able to confirm all of the tactics that law enforcement used to eventually get the suspect to surrender, but we do know that OSHP will be the ones conducting the investigation. We will continue to keep you updated here on air and online. Back to you in studio.